Hello all, welcome to Netbook Tutorial. I'm going to start uh, with a series of uh, tutorials for the MuleSoft from very basics to uh, very complex projects. So to start with uh, today first session, uh, installation part. So for any software or any technology, if you want to learn, the first step you need to know is what are the list of softwares required and uh, uh, what are those how to install them you need to know for the MuleSoft I'm going to show here today what are the list of softwares required and how to get it them and install it in a your system so let's start with that uh, so we need mainly three softwares one is JDK 1.8 version and the second one is AnyPoint Studio uh, and Mule Runtime and the third one is Postman for um, this is for testing purpose so the JDK is mainly for running your AnyPoint Studio or Mule Runtime in your local and AnyPoint Studio and uh, Mule Runtime is for developing any MuleSoft applications. Postman will be used for testing any applications which we develop using the MuleSoft software. So let's start how we can get it. JDK 1.8. So we have one of the website uh, open uh, uh, open uh, JDK Adobe, Adobe Open JDK. Okay, so this is the website. You can go through that and make sure that you select Open JDK 8 and click on latest release. This one. So when you click on that, there will be Open JDK will be start downloading. I have already that software in my system. I'm just going to pause it. Uh, anyway, so let it complete also. We can have it, okay? So it is just downloaded the first software. The second software is AnyPoint Studio and Mule Runtime. So go to the mulesoft.com and at that, you can go to the products. You can see that download Studio and Mule click on that so the first time when you log into this or not to log in when you uh, browse this website it will ask your name email id designation some more details but i open multiple times so it's asking only few details you can see that i selected windows based on your operating system you can select that and it will ask for your job title i just put it as a software engineer Okay, agree the terms and conditions and you can see that AnyPoint Studio 7 and Mule 4 runtime is going to uh, download along with the same file. Click on download. When you click on download, it will start downloading a 1.8 GB file. You can see I have already, I'm going to keep it on uh, hold. Uh, there is 1.8 GB of uh, zip file any point studio 7.9.0 windows 64 bit it is going to download okay so this is going to contain any point studio along with the mule runtime then the third software which we need is postman so i'm going to download the postman you can see that download postman click on that so when you click on that uh, so it will open uh, in a minute or you can see that over here i think yes you can see that install over here or i think uh, there is a, some problem with this browser also sometime you can go to another browser and click on enter you can see that now postman download app click on download and you can select operating system which you want it and it is getting download okay there are the three softwares which we need we just downloaded now i'm going to show how to install them so before installing jdk just go to the command prompt 
open this and say java iphone version you can see that java is not recognized as an internal or external command that means java is not installed in your system so i'm going to install that java development kit first of all so i'm going to install the java development kit in my local so this is the software open jdk 8 which we downloaded right now double click on that and click on next accept the terms and conditions or license agreement click on next and you can see it is going to install under this location okay i'm going to set even java home also uh, this I, I am selecting and click on next and click on install so it will take couple of minutes to complete this installation process so it's quickly done it the java installation is done click on finish now if I go back and open the command prompt and see Java iPhone version, I should be able to see that Java is installed. You can see Open JDK version is 1.8 is installed. And make sure that don't install the latest version of uh, Open JDK or uh, JDK. You can install only 1.8 version which is going to be support by the MuleSoft. Higher versions has some issues. It is not going to support it. Okay, so I can close this one. Now the second one is AnyPoint Studio or Mule Runtime. So I'm going to, I have downloaded that software already. So make sure that under C drive, create a folder called MuleSoft. Under that you can put this zip file 1.8 GB of the zip file which we downloaded in a previous step which we keep it over here any point studio 7.9 you can see here now right click on this file make sure that you use this extract here option so when you click on extract here it will create a folder any point studio okay so make sure that the folder should be any point studio when you go inside these are the files should be there so it is going to extract it will take uh, some time so we need to wait for extracting over here there is no separate steps for installing any point studio it is very simple there is a zip file you just need to extract it here when you extract it here it is going to contain any point studio along with the mule runtime embedded server so that mule embedded runtime also will have inside this folder itself you can go to the plugins under that you can see mule tooling server 4.3.0 this is the version that coming along with the any point studio okay that is the embedded server so now you can see it is 70 uh, percent is more done uh, we can wait for some more time go back over here i think it is almost done now yes once it is finished the extraction that's it we installed any point studio nothing to do more so now what you can do under any point studio folder go over here click on any point studio this application file so when you click on that it is going to open any point studio uh, now so the first time it is going to take a couple of minutes to load all the libraries jars and all but uh, the next time onwards it's going to open very quickly so we will wait for opening this any point studio now you can see that the workspace is uh, opening uh, but it is asking for a workspace location by default it will be this one and if you want you can change the workspace location i will be changing later but i'm going to keep it as it is the default workspace and click on launch and you can see that now it is loading those uh, workspace now you can see this is any pan studio which is open now okay and you can go to the help and you can check the version any pan studio version this is 7.9 and this is the build version everything will be shown over here 
okay so i will talk about any point studio more uh, in a uh, further sessions um, but as of now the installation part is that's it installation is just you know extracting the file uh, files and opening by double clicking this any point studio that is the second software see the software you can see the first map whenever we download it double click on that that set of file yes you can see now over here installing the first man i think i just clicked on multiple times and uh, that might be this one but we can close that uh, multiple times whatever we opened i can see now installing the first man so there won't be any steps or any like anything you need to click on next or anything it directly will open this first man so next time onwards you don't need to click on that it will create a icon in a um, desktop so i will be just waiting for it so just you can see it is loading now you can see preparing your workspace and it is open now almost while it is opening um, we can check here yes you can see this is the version and first time when it opened it is very clean nothing will be there over here so i will show how to use this postman also in a coming sessions okay so that's it i think uh, uh, we learn how to what are the softwares required for the mulesoft uh, to start uh, learning and doing work on mulesoft so the first one is open jdk or jdk 1.8 version which is required for running any punch studio and mule runtime so the second software which we need is any punch studio or mule runtime to start developing mule application then the third software which we need is postman which is required for um, testing any applications which we develop using any punch studio so that's it i think uh, next session we will learn how we can start developing applications using this any point studio and uh, overview about uh, any point studio okay thank you guys for watching this video uh, please uh, subscribe like share this video